Hey. Hey. Got the paper? Not yet. <sighs> no paper. I haven't been out yet. Well, what's taking you so long? So, oh. deal with Aquaman. Could he go on the land or was he just restricted to water? <laughs> well, I think I saw him on land a couple times. So how's the job situation going? Still looking. Pretty bad out there. What about you? Nothing much. I slept with Elaine last night. <laughs> Oxygen! I need some oxygen. This is major. I thought you'd like that. Oh, this is huge. I know. All right, okay, let's go. Details. Nah, I can't give details. You what? I can't give details. No details? I'm not in the mood. You ask me here to have lunch, tell me you slept with Elaine, and then say you're not in the mood for details. Now, you listen to me. I want details, and I want them right now. I don't have a job. I have no place to go. You're not in the mood. Well, you get in the mood. All right. OK. Well, we were in my apartment watching TV. Where are you sitting? On the couch. Next to each other? No, separate. Time? Around 11. OK, go ahead. So she's flipping around the TV, and she gets to the naked station. Oh. See, that's why I don't have cable in my house, because of that naked station. If I had that in my house, I would never turn it off. I wouldn't sleep, I wouldn't eat. Eventually, firemen would have to break through the door. They'd find me sitting there in my pajamas with drool coming down my face. All right, all right. So, you're watching the naked station. And then, somehow, we started talking about what if we had sex? Boy, these are really bad details. It pains me to say this, but I may be getting too mature for details. Oh, I hate to hear this. Any kind of growth really irritates me. Well, I'll tell you, though, it was really passionate. Better than before? She must have taken some kind of seminar or something. <laughs> this is all too much. So, what are you feeling? What's going on? Are you like a couple again now? Not exactly. Not exactly. What does that mean? Well, we've tried to arrange a situation where we'll be able to do this once in a while and still be friends. <laughs> what? Where are you living? Are you here? Are you on this planet? It's impossible. It can't be done. Thousands of years, people have been trying to have their cake and eat it, too. So all of a sudden, the two of you are going to come along and do it. Where do you get the ego? <laughs> no one can do it. It can't be done. I think we've worked out a system. Oh, you know you know what you're like? You're like a pathetic gambler. One of these losers in Las Vegas who keeps thinking he's going to come up with a way to win at blackjack. No, this is very advanced. We've designed a set of rules that we can maintain the friendship by avoiding all the relationship pitfalls. Sure. All right, all right. Tell me the rules. OK. No calls the next day. So you have the sex. Next day, you don't have to call. It's pretty good. <laughs> Go ahead. You ready for the second one? I have to tell you, I'm very impressed with the first one. <laughs> Spending the night. Option. <laughs> now, you see, you got greedy. No, that's the rule. It's optional. I know less about women than anyone in the world. <laughs> but the one thing I do know is that they are not happy if you don't spend the night. It could be a hot, sweaty room with no air conditioning, and all they have is a little army cut this wide. You're not going anywhere. I think you're wrong. I hope I am. 